of my most favorite places in Bellingham, Boundary Bay Brewery, downtown Bellingham on Railroad, and we're with Ed Bennett, the owner. Ed, how long has this place been open? When did you open? We've been open since 1995. And, and tell us about the building here. Well, it's an old building. It was built in 1922, and uh, it's been used for various things. Originally, it was a transit company, but right before we started construction, it was actually a weightlifting gym. A weightlifting gym? Yeah. Wow, so yeah. you you were kind of scouting around for a place, and you saw this weightlifting gym, and you thought, that'd be a great place for a brewery. A well, brew I wanted an older building, yeah. and I wanted to kind of put some charm into the old building, and it kind of lent itself well with being a brew pub and good atmosphere, and we were lucky to find this building. It works out pretty good. Well, Bellingham is lucky to have you, I have to say. Tell us about your beer, because it's award-winning, award and, and you distribute it statewide, and even into Idaho, right? Right. Yeah. Tell us about the awards. Well, we've won numerous awards, both nationally and internationally, and uh, we have some very good brewers that work here, and they're very talented, and, and we've We've sort of created a niche with very flavorful beers and, uh, and people like our beer. One of the really cool things about Boundary Bay Brewery, in addition to the beer and the food, of course, is that the beer is brewed inside the, the building. So you can eat and drink on one side, and then you can look inside the brewery and meet people like Aaron Smith, the head brewmaster here at Boundary Bay. So where are we at, Aaron? You see, we're here in the brew house, uh -huh. and we have the hopper, which holds the malted barley, which we drop down into what we call the mash tun, where it soaks with hot water and turns the carbohydrates into sugar, and we pump that into a kettle where we boil it with hops. Okay. After that process, we pump it into the conical bottom shaped tanks <laughs> called fermenters, uh -huh. and then the yeast eats the sugar, creating alcohol and carbon dioxide, and then it becomes beer. That's a very technical explanation for something that's so delicious in the end. How long does the whole process take? The whole process takes about 12 days. 12 days? Yeah. And you guys brew quite a bit, right? We do, we brew over 12,000 kegs annually. People come from all over the country and the world yeah. to drink your beer. I mean, it is as, kind of amazing. Yeah. As we walked in today, there's someone here from Oregon, there's someone here from where else? Arizona, Arizona and the, British Columbia. British Columbia. How does that make you feel? It's pretty nice. It, uh, we didn't, it started out slow and then the word started spreading and uh, people, it's kind of interesting, the, our hooded sweatshirt is kind of like um, a trademark of ours and people have seen them all over the world actually. Yeah, did you expect that when you started, when you opened this? No, it's actually, I mean I knew that we were going to, we had something special here because Bellingham is such a special town, but I think that it really has taken on a life of its own and it kind of sort of evolves and keeps evolving every day, even for the length of time that we've been open. We're here for the beer. <laughs> no, the beer, the food, the people. Yeah. We love Bellingham. We're from Vancouver. This is Wayne, I'm Anne Louise. And once we discovered Boundary Bay Brew Pub, uh, we just thought the beer and everybody, it's, it's, it's a local yeah. environment and it's just great. Why do you think Bellingham is so special? Well, and when I was looking for a town, I, I didn't want a big city, but I wanted it big enough uh, that it could support a brew pub such as this. And then I also want to be, uh, also have a university and then also be big enough that we could also give back to the, the, the town. And that was definitely part of my business plan. And I think we've been able to do that. And uh, Bellingham's just a nice sized town where you're not necessarily such a big town that you kind of get lost, but it's, not, but it's big enough that we can really make an impact to it and be able to get involved and I think and that's what was part of my efforts from the beginning. It's the most comfortable, most relaxing place in Bellingham. The beer is as great as the people are. More than just um, a place to drink beer, a real community kind of place. It feels good. It's eclectic. It has a diverse range of people that come here, and it's comfortable. So there's nothing more Bellingham than Boundary Bay Brewery, downtown Bellingham on Railroad Avenue. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.